So this video is brought to you by Buy. Buy is a premium proxy buying service that I've talked about in previous videos. It's what I use primarily when I want to import things from Japan to the West. You can use them to buy from many websites, including Mercari, Yahoo Auctions Japan, and Rakuten. There's many ways you can use Buy, and I highly recommend their services, especially if you're interested in Megaten as a collector. Though I will say you can also use them for things outside of Megaten collecting, including things like buying clothes. I would highly recommend using their service. So I use Buy all the time. Most of my merch has been bought through their services, including the Nocturne Remaster Collector's Editions. I would highly recommend them for everything from buying merch to buying fashionable things to buying collector's toys. I've used them for quite a few things. And if you use my affiliate link to sign up for their services, you'll get 2,000 yen off of your first purchase. That's about a $20 value. Highly recommend it. Thank you again, Bai, for sponsoring this, and let's get right into me opening things, all right? So a few things came in the mail for me today, and these two things were the limited edition Nocturne HD Remaster. I bought the Atlas Ebb 10 Famitsu DX Edition, which comes with a DDS jewelry piece, as well as a couple of other goodies that are extra. I also bought a standard Nintendo Switch limited edition some of the goodies that were included were this weird Rido standee, this bus pass with some demon icons on it, and the small desktop sized print of the art birth on acrylic. So the box itself is inspired by the concept of the cash cube that's pretty popular and prominent in Nocturne. It's similar to the art featured in the original vanilla limited edition. So the first thing I opened up is this thing. This is another exclusive to Atlas Ebtens edition. This is actually a porcelain, or I'm sorry, a stoneware cup based on the Amala drum. Inside it has just a little bit of guide on how to wash it. I don't plan on using it, but it's pretty nice. I wanted to compare it to some of the other Atlas cups that I've gotten in the past. So here's a Jack Frost and the Amala drum. And here's Petite Frost with the Amala drum. And that one's also stoneware, so I wanted to see how it compared. And here's the DDS necklace slash bracelet. I say necklace because I probably could see adding a longer chain and using it as a necklace instead. So I love the packaging for it. That little book shaped box is just cool. The jewelry piece itself is really nice, though it was really hard to focus when I was trying to do that on my camera. I tried a whole bunch of things, couldn't get it to focus. I even tried manual focus. No. But there's four demon icons followed by a small jewel with it saying full and it says full because it's a full moon you know it's when all the demon crazies come out and it's nice but look at this this doesn't fit me it looks it i couldn't get it to close and it just kind of looks whatever for me but it looks nice with the rest of my jewelry next up is this wall scroll this is a wall scroll featuring the conical art piece entitled death that's a demi fiend surrounded by a bunch of fiends and lucifer on top which is cropped and the shapes are the cash cubes. I compared it to the fan gamer poster of the same art, cropped in the same way. Both are pretty high quality, and I would recommend the fan gamer poster, by the way. I'll link it in the description. Here's birth and death compared, just for funsies. So I actually unboxed the Nintendo Switch version, because that's the version I plan on playing first. In this box set, you'll find a nightlight slash aroma diffuser. Basically, all you do is you put some oil at the top part of the aroma diffuser and plug it in and it'll start releasing some sort of smell by burning the oil. It's also shaped like the Amala drum, but whereas I really, really liked the initial one that's included in the vanilla version of the Nocturne Limited Edition, this is actually kind of disappointing. It's not even colored in like the cup, and I don't like that. Now, come on, color it in. So this also comes with the CD set. This features the Piano Arrangement CD, which is about 10 songs, rearranged by a person going by the Duke of Pianit. And it also features a Rares CD, which features songs that are not finished? I don't really understand. I was listening to it earlier, and I don't know what the purpose of it, because it feels like it's unmastered songs that were just not finished. <laughs> the CD art is cool because it uses the Sutaya box art as the disc art, and it works so well as a disc art. And then you also have the Vortex art piece in there as an insert. Everything's yellow. <laughs> 
Here's the Ayakashi Monthly. Uh, the reason I'm excited about this is because it has more information about the development of the game. Unfortunately, I noticed that some of the development information was stuff that was included in the Maniacs book that was featured in the Deep Strange Journey Collector's Edition. It's also written by the same author, so that explains why some of the similarities are there. I haven't finished reading through it just yet. Don't see a Kaneko interview, which is what I was really hoping for. But there's a lot of interesting insight as to the development of the world. You'll notice that there's some stuff there about Buddhism. You'll see some symbols and whatnot. It's pretty nice. And then the way they use the Sephiroth in game design, which is really interesting. There's not really anything else like in terms of like unseen art or even rough sketches of art. It's just it's just not function. It's not designed that way, which is kind of a shame because I would have loved to see some prototypical Demi Fiend or whatever or Chiaki before they finalize the design. But we don't really see that from Kaneko in general, so not surprised that we didn't see it now. And then here, look, there's a plug of that Mega Ten Maniacs books I was just talking about. So here's the actual game itself, the Switch version. It features the original box art, but yellow. And yellow being the main color for this game. Everything has been yellow, all that art, none of it's new, but it's all yellow. <laughs> So there's that. If you like yellow, you'll like this. When you open up the actual box art, you see that there's art from the Degaki PlayStation magazine cover that they used in the past. And I think it really looks nice as a back piece to it. And for funsies, I took out the vanilla version of Nocturne's limited edition. This was the deluxe pack featured for the 2002 release of Nocturne, the version that doesn't have true demon ending and the other stuff and Dante. I wanted to compare the Amala drum that's featured in there as an incense burner to the Amala drum of the other one. And if it's, as you can see, the package design that's the cash keep thing is the same. I think that it's done better in the vanilla DX pack, but that's just me. And then when I take out the Amala drum, it's made out of some sort of metal. Um, it's in three pieces, so it stands and it looks exactly one-to-one -one like the Amala drum featured in the game, which I like. It doesn't have the symbols lighting up which only happens when you save and stuff in the game or use the Amala drum. But yeah, comparing it to this other stuff, it just doesn't look as good. The cup and the aroma burner don't look as good as the incense burner featured. But yeah, so that's Nocturne HD Remasters Collector's Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I don't know. I was really excited to just kind of look at this stuff. Overall, I would say that it's kind of worth it if you wanted the bracelet, but that's an extra like $200 on top of everything else. Whether or not you believe the CD and incense burner or aroma burner was worth the extra $50 to $100 is just up to you. Personally, the Ayakasha Monthly is the best part of this, but it's not in English, so there's that. They're also reselling the Ayakashi Monthly separately from everything else, as well as the OST. So if you didn't get the collector's edition for this, you can buy just the OST for $50 and it comes with the original OST from the first game, from the Maniacs re-release, and these two new CDs. So that's probably a better purchase because it's $50 for all of that and you can have a complete set. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment on what you want me to unbox next or if I should keep doing these as games release. Uh, not sure if I will always do that because this particular collector's edition was one that I was really excited for. And it goes without saying that I'll be streaming Nocturne HD Remaster, so follow me on Twitch if you wanna see that. So once again, I'd like to thank Bai. If you wanna support me and what I do, go ahead and sign up for a new account using my link to get the 2000 yen or roughly $20 discount coupon. All the links to all of my socials that you should follow me on are in the description. Go ahead and do that. And that's it for the video. Goodbye, fellow mega tennists.